From the 17th to the 26th of May, Roy Simmons, Penrith, New South Wales, an Australian League legend, performed yet another remarkable feat, walking 300 kilometres from Goolagong in the state's central west through to Sydney via places such as Cowra, Woodstock, Carcourth, Bathurst and Katoomba. For this walk, he was joined by a plethora of rugby league legends, including Brad Fittler, Terry Lamb, Alan Langer, Wally Lewis and Gary Jack, just to name a few. Royce's Big Walk was conducted as a fundraising activity for Dementia Australia and raised funds it did, more than half a million dollars to this very worthy cause, a cause chosen by Royce, who himself was sadly diagnosed with dementia late last year. Royce undertook this walk as a way of assisting others who are affected by the disease, not just the people with dementia, but their supporting families as well. And I can tell you from my own personal experience with my grandfather, who we lost to dementia a couple of years ago, it is a horrible and cruel disease. In New South Wales, there are currently around 122,000 people living with dementia. 27,500 of these are under the age of 65. Obviously, many of these people interact with our health system, either to access services, to meet their general health needs, or as part of their dementia diagnosis or management. Our New South Wales health services have dementia clinical nurse consult positions, which provide special clinical support. And in western and far western New South Wales, a partnership has been established with Sydney Local District to provide virtual specialist care to people living in rural and remote areas, providing increased access to, rural, to specialist GPs to manage their complex healthcare needs such as dementia. We also have more than 60 MPSs across the state, like the one I visited in Canamble recently, supported by amazing local staff who, as part of providing high quality aged care to residents, also provide care for many people with dementia. From a personal point of view, I want to give a shout out to the staff of Ascot Gardens, the residential aged care facility where my grandfather spent his last months. I cannot speak highly enough of the care they received and the compassion and commitment uh, these health care workers showed. To those of you who were there then and those who are there now, I sincerely thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm.